So we have the independent treasury where um, the government money will no longer be in private banks. It will now be in the um, independent treasury, which we still have today. Today it is located right next to the White House. The election of 1840 slogans, we have uh, Martin Van Buren, MVP, MVB, versus, uh, versus a Tippecanoe New and Taylor too. Um, we have the log cabins and hard cider. These are political slogans that start to come about. Now with more people participating in politics, we need to come up with catchy slogans that are going to catch their attention. So we have slogans like Tippecanoe New and Tyler too, um, re uh, referring to William Henry Harrison. Uh, the Log Cabin and Hard Cider, Get the Ball Rolling. These are all slogans to try to promote the masses to go out and vote for them. William Harry Harrison, remember, he's the president that died in 30 days because of a bad um, stomach flu. Tyler, his ascendancy, which was John Tyler, the guy that took over his VP right after he died 30 days into office. He was a Democrat at heart, but he hated Jackson. He was a Democrat at heart, but he hated Jackson, hence him being a Whig. Um, Caroline was a British, uh, was a ship that was attacked by the British and it killed one American and it caused a political scandal in the United States saying, hey, they're doing it, they're doing it to us again, but we're not going to take it. We have the, um, Arstuck War, which was a conflict between the Lumberjacks and the Maine and Canada. So it was over territory that know the Arstuck War, know the Arstuck War. It basically was, um, uh, create, uh, settled by Webster, the Ashbury Treaty settled the boundary dispute between Maine and Canada. Um, know it because it basically created a territorial, it was over territorial disputes, what belonged to Canada, what belonged to the United States. And it pretty much settled a strong partnership between Canada and the United States, kind of saying, hey, we have this problem, but we eventually settled it and we're good now. We have the Creole um, ship where a hundred slaves took over the ship and fled to the Bahamas, um, and because of this action, this scared the South, saying, oh, see, the, the slaves could revolt, so we need to pass stronger slave codes to keep them in check. We have the two treaty, um, two treaties that you do need to know for this chapter are the webster Ashbury Treaty, which resolved the boundary dispute between Maine and Canada. Remember, it led to a strong partnership between the two countries. And we have the Treaty of Wang Hai, which was Americans receiving trading rights in China and extraterritorially. So we have all these people during this time frame going into China and taking over all these European powers, if you remember from last year. The United States didn't want to stay behind, so we went into um, China and tried to get our piece of the pie. It made China open for everybody to trade with. And that is it.